Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Raised beaches. A beach is found next to the sea, where the tide moves from high to low, repeating every day. This intertidal area is where we find our typical beach profile, with fine-grained muds deepest offshore, with sand closer to the land, then pebbles ranging from smaller to larger, with cobbles and boulders at the highest reaches of the beach, these all moved up by the sea currents and waves. Raised beaches are also known as marine terraces, or coastal terraces, or perched coastlines, which, if we look at, we can see the terms terraces and perched, with terraces looking like this, horizontal or sub-horizontal plateau, may be found next to the sea, the areas that join them up being called scarps, which with rock added below, could give us this profile, the terraces clearly perched above sea level. Looking back at our terms, we also note these terms, that raised beaches can also form adjacent to rivers found in land, as well as being formed in coastal areas. Raised beaches are generally formed in two ways. The first is due to sea level changes, which can rise upwards, as this sea is gradually doing so, rising up against the coastal area. The sea level can also drop downwards, as this sea is gradually doing so, leaving raised beaches on the terraces that are made during every phase of falling sea level. The second mechanism is the land itself, which can drop downwards like this. The land can then rise upwards like this, with newly formed beaches being formed upon the newly formed terraces. There is a third mechanism that can help form raised beaches, this being an interplay of the land and changing sea levels, these changing in relation to each other over time. Sea levels can rise due to the process of global warming, with ice melting as temperatures increase, causing sea levels to rise as the ice melts. Sea levels can drop due to global cooling, causing the seas to cool, lowering sea levels as ice caps start to form, making glaciers too. Let's pretend that our landmass has a glacier carved across it. The glacier is not just heavy, it is very heavy, and so it pushes the continental landmass downwards, leaving the land like this. Over time, the sea erodes the land where the land meets the sea, the waves and their carried sediment eroding the coast landward, with the sediment then deposited on the coastal area. But, over time, the glaciers are large and heavy when it is colder. But with warming happening, the glaciers melt and disappear, meaning the great weight that pushed the continents downwards has now gone, so the land rebounds upwards, exposing the deposited sediment, which is now our raised beach. That's amazing! So now we know how raised beaches are formed, let's look at a few examples. There are many raised beaches on the island of Guernsey, off the northwest coast of France. Here we look landward to the Leray headland, which, when zoomed in, we see the partly covered low tide shore, some outcrops of 650 million year old granite, and the pebble and boulder covered beach with more granite outcrops too. Below the vegetated surface is a three metre high cliff, which, when studied more closely, we see this, zoomed in for closer inspection. At the base of our view, we have our pebble covered beach, then the bedrock granite exposed, its surface being smooth and curved. This an unconformable surface of several hundred million missing years of rock, with the sediment of the raised beach set upon the unconformity, and above this, glacial originating head and low S deposits. Further study of this cliff, when we look at the raised beach section, shows the granite underlying the beach, with its wave smooth surface, this carved when the sea levels were higher, and in this case, around 100,000 years ago. In the raised beach, we see a sandy matrix with pebbles and boulders within it, these being rounded and sub-rounded in shape, this due to abrasion happening when the waves rolled them round in the ancient sea. Above the deposits of the raised beach are low S and head materials, deposited during a glacial phase when sea levels were much lower. Wow! At this location at Grand Rock, two kilometres to the northeast, 
we see another granite ancient wave cut platform foreshore, its upper surface plain smooth by the action of waves about 100,000 years ago, the raised beach deposits unconformable upon this, and glacial derived deposits above these, the rounded and sub-rounded cobbles and pebbles of the ancient beaches all very clear to see. If we look at this part of the section, we have this view, which on examination, we see the wave smoothed granite foreshore, its unconformable surface, the raised beach deposits, and the uppermost glacial deposits, with this part being our cross section of the ancient and now raised beach. In Cornwall, in southwest England, is the stunning cove of Porthnanvan. We see the low tide exposed beach, it covered in rounded pebbles and boulders, made from 270 million rolled lands and granite. This outcrop here showing a wave cut notch. It formed by the waves of the Atlantic Ocean that pound the coastline here. The granite can also be seen on the far shoreline too, bordered by steeply dipping cliffs, within which we can see raised beach deposits, overlain by glacial head material. If we look behind this outcrop, into the cove itself, we see this cliff face. Fallen cliff material forms the beach, with a steep granite scarp to the left side, and if we strip away everything else, we can then model the granite as a steep valley side. The remainder of the cliff side is composed of sediments, with clear raised beach deposits forming the lower half, this overlain by glacial head deposits. Using our model valley side, we can imagine the ancient higher sea levels and the rounded sediments that's deposited. Increasingly higher sea levels have left repeating layers of sea-worn and sea-sorted sediments, this ending at the onset of the last major ice age, when angular formed glacial head sediments were then deposited over the deposits left by the now receded shoreline, this now weathered and eroded to form the section we see today. Wow! Please do watch our other videos and shorts in our Raised Beaches playlist, all filmed in Guernsey, Cornwall and other locations around the world. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!